Hi everyone, this lighting probably sucks, I can't see anything because of the sun. But that just means that spring is here, <laughs> which I'm happy about. But today I'm getting a ADHD autism tattoo. I was diagnosed with both of those when I was 16, so 2015. ADHD I figured out myself that I had. Autism kind of came like a shock. Uh, I wasn't happy that I got that diagnosis. Yes, because my mentality was I'm not like them. I'm not like the stereotypical autistic kid. But I am. <laughs> not the stereotypical. I'm high functioning, so I function in society. I struggle with ADHD and autism. You can tell because I can mask it. And as I said, I wasn't happy that I got the diagnosis autism. Then I started working with kids that have autism and then I started loving autism because I saw it in my students and they're lovely people so therefore I started loving myself with my autism. I love that I can understand my students that have autism. Like I see their struggles, I understand it, I can help them. As I said, I figured out the ADHD part myself. I really struggled in school to stay focused and to be quiet in class. I just wish I got my diagnosis earlier because then I could have gotten the help that I needed at that time. I'm living my best life at the moment. I'm working, I bought a house, I have a cute dog, I have a cute cat. Life turned out pretty good. And now when I'm adult I can realize like my behavior, what is ADHD and what is autism. I bought two books about it, but I haven't read them. I've had them for like two years now. I'm getting a tattoo right here on my arm. So it will look like I have really skinny arms, so it won't be a big tattoo. But I'm getting it right here. And uh, yeah, you will see how it's gonna look. You probably have seen it in the thumbnail as well. And I love colors and I want it to match these, my birds. This is my first tattoo that I got when I was 16. So I want the colors to match. So I film a little bit on my phone when I'm at the tattoo place and everyone will wear masks. I will wash my hands. It's like, yeah. See you when I'm getting my tattoo. Full of madness, full of sadness, lost a friend of mine. I've been broken, wide open, looking for a light. Spent the night time looking up at the sky and here I am I'm home now, I'm super tired. It took like almost two and a half hours I think, which isn't a lot. But I think I'm gonna continue filming throughout the healing process and then talk a little bit more once I've healed. This is how it looks like at the moment. So you guys can hopefully see it. I don't know. When the storm clears, yeah, so I'll be ready. Found a light within. No more madness, no more sadness, no more could have been. I've been broken, but I'll be back again. My tattoo is now all healed and I really love it. And as I said, I have a love-hate relationship with ADHD and autism and I think everyone who has those diagnoses has this as well. Because there's sometimes I can love my autism and sometimes I can hate it and I also want to get rid of it. And the same with ADHD. Like I can love how creative I am and hyper I am with my ADHD but I can hate that I don't have an occasion, like I can't sit in a classroom, I hate going to meetings because I can't sit still. When I'm an artist, I hate that I hate changes and I have to plan everything and if something goes wrong and then my day is ruined. And sometimes I just wish I was normal because life would just be so much easier. Life is okay with autism and ADHD, it is. Like I'm happy, sometimes I get sad, sure, but everyone does. 
Like sometimes I said to my mom, like when I'm breaking down, I hate my autism and ADHD. I always say that I want it written in my forehead so everyone knows that I'm not normal, that I struggle because people just... Like when I panic, I get grumpy. I kind of have an attitude for someone who doesn't know the struggles that I have. You will just see like that I'm just having an attitude and I'm rude to my mom or whatever. But on the inside, like I'm panicking, I have anxiety. Sometimes I want it written in my forehead and sometimes I just want to hide that I have ADHD and autism. But now I have it tattooed on my arm. I have autism and ADHD and I'm proud. And if you haven't exhausted, you should be proud too of them. Even though it's hard sometimes to be proud of it, but be.